you know, it's been a rule for so long that when you're young, you lean left. I worked for the Labour Party. And then as you get older and hopefully more experienced, smarter and more sceptical, you lean right, more conservative. But new research from the Australian election study this year says that something has changed, or at least you think it, it thinks so. Millennials, that's uh, people aged between 26 and 41 now, are actually getting less likely to vote Conservative. Two decades ago, 35% voted for the coalition. But the last election, even fewer did, just 27%. Joining me is Daisy Cousins, a millennial who's a Sky News contributor with her own video channel. Daisy Cousins, what are we meant to conclude from this, that people no longer get wiser and more conservative with experience? Oh, look, it's, it's a funny one, isn't it, Andrew? I really do weep for my generation. I tend to consider myself a bit of a minor <laughs> that is millennial in name early, uh, in name only. I'm much more of a baby boomer at heart, <laughs> certainly. But it, it is an interesting one. I think in the case of Australia, there's a number of factors. The first and most obvious one is just a total lack of good conservative leadership at a political level. I mean, you know, the most conservative person, aside from Peter Dutton in the Liberal Party right now, seems to be Simon Birmingham. I mean, for goodness sake. Um, whereas you look at, say, um, mm. overseas, Ron DeSantis, for instance, uh, gets millennials to vote for him. George Maloney does. But in Australia, they don't have any of that good leadership. So conser um, young people, millennials, don't actually have an example of what conservatism is. So they habitually vote left wing. So there's that. Uh, the second thing, and I think this is actually certainly globally in the West, is that millennials are missing two of what I think are the key conditions that push people rightwards as they get older, certainly fiscally. And that is one, owning a house, and two, having a child. Generally speaking, I think when you get married and you have children and you buy a house, you realise those are huge increased expenses. When you realise how much everything costs, you're desperate to vote for political parties who aren't going to tax you as much so you can afford to pay for everything. And that moves people rightwards, I think. Millennials are getting married and having children much, much later, if at all. And it's also now much harder to get into the property market than it was 20 or 30 years ago. So they're also buying houses much later, if at all. So they're missing those two key conditions that tend to push people rightwards. So you've got that coupled in Australia with the lack of uh, conservative leadership. And you add to that a thick layer of mass media, of social media, of woke Hollywood celebrities, of left, 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 just cultural stuff. And it is really, really hard, I think, for my generation <laughs> to actually see conservatism as a viable option, unless you're like, you know, a weirdo like me who was, you know, <laughs> was fiscally right wing from a very young age. Age. So I do weep for my generation and I do hope somehow it can be rectified, but I'm, I'm really not sure if that, if that is possible.